Check mic one two. Check mic one two. Have you guys tried rebooting lately? Can you guys tell I've been working out or not? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Drake Garibay, the Senior Systems Engineer for ReasonableITService.com, where you get professional IT support at affordable rates. I'm also PFSense Fundamentals and Practical Application Certified, and today I'm going to show you how simple it is to reinstall PFSense Plus software onto your NetGate Security Gateway. So in my case, I'm reinstalling on a NetGate 1100. PFSense has really good documentation. The firmware you're going to need to reinstall is not readily available online and you will need to open a support ticket request to tax support in which you will fill out the information and they'll send you over the proper firmware for your device. Next up, we're going to be consoling into our firewall and in my case for the SG1100, I will need a USB micro B5 pin cable. I think some of the other firewalls, the higher end ones, use a mini USB, but just look up the documentation to verify. And we are also going to be using PuTTY to console into our firewall. Uh, NetGate notes not to use HyperTerminal. And here are the settings you're going to want to plug into PuTTY in order to console in. Once you have the firmware file, we're going to go ahead and download Belina Etcher, which is what NetGate recommends to flash the firmware or write the firmware to the USB stick that we are then plug into the firewall and boot from that USB stick in order to um, reinstall the OS. Now this is really straightforward. I just flash file, select the file, and then select target. I'm gonna use my USB stick that's plugged into my computer. Put the check mark there, click select, and click flash. And so here is my shiny little SG1100. As you can see, I have the console cable plugged in and the power cable up top there. Here is the front. We're gonna be plugging the USB stick into either one of those USB ports. And once again, you can see the power plug on the left there and the USB cable plugged in the back, which is the console cable. The other end is a type A connector and it's plugged into my laptop. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my USB stick and plug it into my firewall. So here I am with my PuTTY application open, ready to console in. I'm gonna double click on my SG1100 console because I already have the settings saved. First you'll be presented with a blank black window. Just go ahead and double tap enter a couple times. You'll pop into this menu. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the system with option five and when it goes to reboot, I'm gonna interrupt that. I'm going to basically interrupt the auto reboot or the auto boot. It'll, you'll see it right now at the bottom left there. And you can just press any key on the keyboard to disrupt that. That's gonna drop us into the Marvel menu, which is what we want. And we'll give it just a moment here. It should ask me if I want to interrupt the auto boot. There you go. Hit any key to stop auto boot. So I pressed it now we're in the Marvel menu. Here, all you have to do is run one simple command. That's gonna be run space USB recovery and hit enter. And then it should prompt you if you wanna install ZFS. ZFS is fine. So I can just hit yes on that. Uh, actually, you can just hit the enter key and it'll default to ZFS. If you have some special use case to use UFS, well, that's all on you. But normally I use ZFS. And then it'll reinstall, take a few minutes, maybe like five to eight minutes, and you'll end up at this screen where it says the operation system has halted, power cycle or reset to reboot. So at this point, what you wanna do is first remove the USB stick from your firewall, and then you want to unplug the power. Leave it out for about 10 seconds, plug it back in, and when it boots up, you have a freshly reinstalled PFSense Plus. Well, there you have it, folks. Pretty easy, right? Now you know how to reinstall PFSense Plus software on your NetGate security gateway. If that video has helped you out in any way, shape, or form, and you wanna support the channel, 
please like and subscribe and you can always buy us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash reasonable IT. And I'll see you in the next video.